That will bring up Dom Lagana and Hot Rod Fuller, Gary Gerald. You could not ask for a better way to kick off the Western Swing than a classic first round showdown between the two winningest drivers in top fuel history, Larry Dixon going against Tony Schumacher. This is the first time for you guys to face each other in the first round in eight years. And we, as race fans, get super excited about this. How excited do you get? Well, uh, he's going to certainly keep us honest. Yeah, no, normally we'll uh, we'll be meeting up in the late rounds because normally we're going rounds, uh, you know, but that's just the way the uh, mop flop this week. And, uh, you know, we got to go out there. Uh, Jason and uh, the Allen Avi Toyota team is going to bring their best, and I'm going to bring try and bring mine and uh, fire our best shot and hope it's enough. It's going to be a dandy. Mike, I think that should have been the way the broom sweeps, don't you? I think so. Oh, well. Dom Lagana and Hot Rod Fuller. Lagana sitting there in the left-hand lane, and we're talking temperature right now. We're talking heat expected today. It's 86 right now. Plus, we're talking thin air, Mike. Oh, very thin air. You look at that corrected or density altitude. The actual track elevation is 5,800 feet, but when you factor in all the other factors like humidity and temperature, these engines feel like they're at about 8,800 feet above sea level. First time ever Dominic Lagana has lane choice and is elected to stay in the left-hand lane where he ran that amazing 404. It's a run that Bobby Lagana says was not calculated, but they do attribute running on a 140-degree track on the IHRA circuit a week ago to their success. And as Dom kicks parts all over the place, Hot Rod Fuller runs a 405, 300 miles an hour. New crew chief on that car, Mike Cougar, is working the car right now. Well, I don't know if taking that left-hand lane might have been the best choice. You can see on the right side of your screen, Don spun the tires uh, just a little bit before the transition, about where the track got a little bit warmer. Remember, the cooling cores on this racetrack keep it for about right there, about 300, 200 feet, actually, a little bit less than that. And then it goes into a hotter traction. And as Dave said, if the rubber's not sticking out there in that left-hand lane at that point, that's where it's, it broke loose for Dom and possibly cost him the race. And they're reporting oil for Lagana.